All right, look, so we popping out for another video. You, if you're struggling, I, one take, okay. Anyways, back with another video. Today we're gonna talk about trust and really what you need to know about it because it's a very crucial part of life, but I feel it's a very big thing that a lot of us lose. And there's nobody, you know, it's gonna happen. You're gonna, it's, it's not that, you're wrong for it. We all give our trust to somebody. We all give somebody that task of handling our best interests and they let us down. So um, the best definition of trust I ever heard was from some lady named Teal Swan. I bring her up so many times on this channel because I absolutely love her and her knowledge. She is a great lady and ta teaches me a lot. So she, her definition of trust was to rely on somebody to capitalize upon your best interests. So basically, you right now. So you and me, you and me, we're trusting each other, right? So I I am trusting you with something, right? So let's say we're going to do a trust fall, right? I'm leaning back and I'm about to just come back and trust fall. So now I'm expecting you to catch me, right? I am relying on you to capitalize on my best interest that I don't bust my head on this fucking ground. That, that That is my best interest right now that I am caught and that my head and my body does not hit that ground in a fashion that is hard and is going to hurt me. I'm expecting you to save me from that. I am relying on you to capitalize on that best interest. And then you catch me, right? I relied on you and you successfully capitalized on that best interest or I fell back and you didn't catch me. You failed to capitalize on my best interest. All right? Here's the funny thing I want y'all to... I'm going to use the trust ball a lot for this video. And some relationship examples as well. Because this is where... That's where... That's an area where trust is just... Corroded in seconds. Done. You... Like, if you fuck up in relationship trust... Ooh, like, that's... You and... You're in some shit, dude. You are... You are in some shit. I just I can't stop snapping my finger now. But basically, the thing with trust, man, is that once you've once you've put that reliance on somebody, you are now giving somebody the task. You are giving somebody the what's the word? The responsibility to take care of you and your needs and wants. It is up to that person. You are allowing somebody to take up the task and challenge, the responsibility. That's that's the best way. That's the best word right there. Responsibility. You are allowing somebody to take you on, take your best interests on, and then treat it as if it was their own. Now that's a big responsibility right there. That's a big thing, man. Right? And that's one of the reasons we get so scared to trust nowadays is because that's a big that's a big heart opener right there. We're really let, like when you're really putting yourself at that risk, boom, right? I'm trying not to fall back so I don't hit this camera. It's just like, oh, right? I got scared my head's gonna hit that and then the whole thing's gonna fall back, right? Trust is, is scary. It's like as soon as you open, you like, it's now, it's, it's all on the other dude. It's all on the other, it's all on the other girl, it's all on the other person. It's like, hey, look. Can I, 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 I'm relying on you to keep, to do what is right for my personal interests and needs for what is best for me as if it was your own. Now, we're not asking you to sacrifice yourself for us. All we're asking is that when you're doing something, you maintain the catch. That when you're doing something, you're still going to be there to catch me, right? That I can still fall back and you'll get me, right? That I can still fall back and you'll be there to catch me, right? That's what I'm doing. That's a lot of, that's a lot to put in someone's hands. Because the second that they step out the way, boom, that's it. That's it. You put all your, your all your reliance. It was that person's responsibility. You put the 
you expected them to capitalize on that interest and they didn't. So then that's where trust gets corroded. And then that's when rebuilding trust becomes even harder, right? So just, just got that basic foundation of trust down. Simple. I fall back, I expect you to catch me. I am relying on you to consider the best for me as if it was your own interest as well. Take my interest on as your own interests and catch me when I fall back, right? Boom, got you, right? I'm expecting you to catch me. I'm expecting that every time that we're in this situation where I have to rely on you to keep right to what is good for my needs and wants and be safe with that. Keep that safe. Keep that safe. I'm, I'm giving you a part of me in that sense. You know, I'm allowing myself to be vulnerable. I am allowing myself, I'm sacrificing, you know, the I can do it myself scenario. And I'm allowing somebody else to help out. I'm allowing somebody else in. So that's a scary place to be. But it's a real place to be. Because true intimacy and connection can never happen without trust. If there is no trust, then no, then no true intimacy and connection is going to happen because in the back of the mind, there's always suspicion. There's always something else. There's always a fear playing in the game of courage, right? So, Trust gets built throughout, right? The more trust falls you do, the more comfortable you become with falling back, right? The more they catch you, you're like, dude, it's not even a thing, right? Boom, I know you got me. I know that you have me, right? So let's take, um, let's take a relationship, for example, right? So let's take a situation where a guy and a girl, right? So... Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's take a situation. Let's say a guy and a girl, right? Um, very simple scenario. A uh, girl wants to go out of the house, go hang with her girlfriends, and do her thing, right? Guy. He's let her done this many times. When they were first starting off in the relationship, it was kind of like, ooh, baby, you're going to be okay because I don't know what you're going to do. I want you to be okay out there. And then, you know, but because you're in such a spot where you're willing to be vulnerable for her, you already have that trust. So you're like, you, you might already be in the position like, yeah, go on, babe. Like, go do your thing, right? And then you let her go do her thing, right? And then she goes, and then she gets fucked up and then you know she does her thing you know this is what she does she's done this plenty of times you know she's coming home problem is this time one of your friends gives you a call middle of the night apparently he's on the same he's on the same street they're on the same club right now and she's seeing this girl go he's seeing this girl get down and fucking dirty with this other guy and i mean it's just boom right there your best interest was not capitalized on. Your, your best interest was that she was going to go there, have a great time, and then come home to you. She just gave herself to another man while her loyalty was sworn to you. Now that, that trust that was built over and over and over again when she went out, that trust that was built up, as she did these events, he believed that it was going to be okay. He had no problem with it. You know, he just knew that, hey, my baby's going to do what she's doing. She's, she's loyal. All just went down the drain. It's, it literally went from what could have been is probably this to this. Like, I'd say like right there. Yeah, it's that small. It's, at, at, at that event, like the moment, he's, he, the moment you absorb that fact, the trust is corroded. Woman comes home. Oh, it's a whole fucking storm now. It's not a game. You didn't capitalize on my best interest. So now it's a problem because his need and want was not met. Matter of fact, it was betrayed. So now I'm going to lead into something very interesting about trust. And that's the process of regaining trust or rebuilding it. 
Because this can be a very difficult process, I know from experience, okay? This is a very rough situation for him. The woman apologizes like crazy. The guy is losing his shit. And now, you know, I most guys, you know, it's like, hey, get the fuck out. You betrayed me. I don't want you ever again. It's gone. Like, you, you broke the bond. Let's say for some reason they decided, you know what, let's continue this. You say it won't happen again, show me it won't happen again. Okay? Because here's the thing that can happen. Is that, you know, and that, look, however you want to handle your relationship problem in this instant, I'm not asking you what the fuck you're going to do. I'm just using this as an example, okay? Girl, girl convinces the guy, girl and the guy talk, and he believes that, hey, Let's give her another chance. And let's see if she can show me that she'll capitalize on my best interests. This is where things get difficult. Trust can be built, okay? But as soon as it's corroded, it just takes more and more and more time. It just becomes even harder to build. Because now, you're at such a low level of vulnerability. You're at such a low level. One, you just endured that so much emotional pain there probably right so now you're emotionally hurt your but your needs weren't capitalized on so now you're in a position of what what i have to be vulnerable for you again what if you do this again and that is where my friends trust can be a problem and this can even lead into further relationships let's say even you cut this relationship off you go into the next relationship you may begin to have trust problems you may begin to be get really insecure with women. You may tend to really let things shake you up. And then you may start to develop trust issues in other areas of your life constantly. Why? Because of the pain associated with trusting people now. So now you start protecting yourself and now you start building up a barrier saying, I'm going to handle on my own. I'm going to start doing things on my own. And you know that whole coping mechanism of really don't let anybody else do it. I got it. But that's just not the truth. Somebody else is going to come in our lives and we're going to we're going to have to give that trust again. Okay? So when that time does come where you need to rebuild trust again, whether it's this with this woman or whether it's another woman, right? Whether when it's time for the next person to catch you on that trust fall, when it's time for the next person who's going to do it. This is the scariest part about trust. We said earlier in the video Trust leaves you vulnerable. You are giving your, your reliance, your reliance. You are handing the responsibility of your best interests and needs in someone else's hands. So that means you've given a part of yourself, a part of your, a part of what you got to get out of life to somebody else. And it's up to them. It's their responsibility to fulfill it. That's a vulnerable spot to be in. Because now it's them. And a lot of us don't like to sacrifice ourselves to somebody like that. Especially if we've been betrayed before. <sighs> Alright? So now, we're in a position. So now it's like, okay, where do we go from here, right? In order to rebuild trust, vulnerability... When you're in that, when in order to allow yourself to enter that vulnerable position again, you have to have courage. You have to have courage. If you do not have courage, you cannot trust. If you, and here's the thing. <laughs> trust is not about being able to just believe that they're not going to betray you again. In order to trust somebody, you're going to get scared, Right? In order to trust that something is going to be okay, you're going to be scared in the fact that it can't. In order to trust that they're going to catch you, in order to trust that this thing won't kill you, in order to trust that what you're doing is perfectly okay, in order to trust that the thing that you are doing in this life right now is where you're supposed to go, in order to trust that anything is going the way that you're supposed to be going, you have to understand that fear that it won't work out comes with it especially if you're somebody with trust issues because that's the fucking problem is that not well not that's just the issue right there is because you're scared to be let down again a lot of us don't want to open our hearts again after it's been stabbed after it's been let down and shattered all over the floor like glass 
none of, so we try and pick all the pieces back up, but because we're so damn fragmented, when it comes to trying to open again, it's like, nope, I ain't, I ain't let nobody break this motherfucker this time. Who the fuck you think you are, huh? Like, no, nobody's touching this. Nobody gets a second shot. But I'm telling you, in order to trust, you got to give it a second shot. You got to give it a third, a fourth, a fifth, a hundred fucking times, right? You got to trust over and over and over and over again, because that is what's honest. In order to trust, you got to have the courage to let yourself be hurt again. You got to have the courage to say, you know what? It happened this many times. Maybe it'll go right this time. Somebody will capitalize on your best interest. I guarantee you that. But it's going to be hard. It is a very hard process because everyone is scared of the pain happening again. And sometimes we become very susceptible and suspicious and paranoid. And we start to catch on to things and we're like, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're fucking us over. No, you're just seeing it that way. Right? Because our heads get to us. Right? The way in our... And our emotions not wanting to get hurt again get to us. Very different from intuition, guys, though. I'm not telling you that... I'm not telling you that if you have a gut feeling something's wrong, follow that shit. You know what I mean? If you get that gut feeling like this don't feel right, follow it. You know, that's fine. But there's a difference from gut feeling and fear. There's a difference from just knowing something's not right and then just believing something's not right you know and when i say believing something is not right i mean like you know being very easily convinced because of your fear of being let down again so you easily just jump at the opportunities that's oh shit they're letting us down ah right so you you get on that shit i'm telling you this if you're gonna trust anything in life courage is the key fear comes the false evidence that appears real the idea that you will be let down exists and that is the act of courage when it comes to trust that is the vulnerability in trust is knowing is allowing yourself to be placed in someone else's hands allowing your needs and and wants and interests to be in someone else's hands and know that this could go wrong. But you're vulnerable enough to trust them. You're vulnerable enough to rely on them. And say, look, if it doesn't go right, that's fine. You know, I can trust this person. I can rely on them to capitalize on my best interests. You, can, you will be scared at times. But in the, in the instance that you're rebuilding any trust with anybody over a fragmented and broken heart, over past experience it takes a lot of courage to get back on the stepping stone and every day allow yourself to take that leap of faith allow yourself because listen damn yeah so look i can't really cover much more in this video so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here but that's it man don't let fear override you and then get you caught on other shit don't let fear drive you into doing actions that, you know, don't like, how do I put this? Don't allow fear to like push you over the edge. And I'm going to have to make this a little quick two-parter. But you got to trust and trust comes from courage. And essentially like, look, man. Wow, that hurt. Okay. Okay. Um, Look. A mistake that I personally have made in my past, well, not even in my, like, recent past, is that I allow fear to dictate the action I'm going to take next. So, we're talking about rebuilding trust, right? Now, again, trust means I don't know what you're going to do with my interest. I don't always know if you're going to catch me, right? Now, here's the thing I need you to understand. I'm going to demonstrate this again with the trust fall. Now... It's very easy to trust someone at first because if you have a liking to them, you have an understanding to them and you connect with them and you're very close with them, you have every reason to believe that they won't betray it if they haven't already, right? Once they betray that, it becomes a lot harder to let them catch you, yeah? 
It becomes a lot harder to make that fall because they've already put, they've already let your head bust open once. They already let your spine and your whole back get scraped up once. Who says they aren't going to do it again? That's the fear. That's the scariness. But this person sitting here is like, look, I'm fucking sorry, dude. I'm going to catch you. I'm not letting you down again. So while this, this person, listen, the person here has to prove that they're going to capitalize on this person's best interests. This person here can't talk now. At this point, he, he can't run his mouth. He's got to show every day of his life that he's going to capitalize on his best interests. And this person right here, this is what I'm getting to. This person right here has to be willing to take a fall every day. Has to be willing to take that fall back and let himself get caught. He has to allow that heart to be open again and allow him to have a second go at catching him. He has to let that happen. Because if not, if he does this, this is what fear will do to you. This is not, re this is not rebuilding trust. This is a matter of fact, having less trust or just the equal amount of minimized trust that you have. This is what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna fall back. He says he's gonna catch me. You weren't about to catch me. You see that? I instantly jumped at him. I instantly. Or I'd spell a bit and I didn't feel it was right. My fear instantly told me I was falling. So I turned around. So now he's like, I was about to catch you. And then you're like, no, you weren't. Because that person got too scared. He was not vulnerable to let that person do what they wanted to do or do what they promised that they were going to do. He failed. He didn't open. He didn't allow himself to be trusted again. Listen, person B, I mean, that person who's catching, look, you can't do none of this. You got to catch and you got to demonstrate to them every single day in every way that you can that they can trust you again if they do decide to fall. And that person who's deciding to fall has to make the decision themselves that they will allow you to try again. They will allow you to have another chance. Because if they don't, if they constantly turn around and stop themselves, they're never rebuilding the trust that was lost. They're never allowing themselves to be caught because they're too scared of falling. That's not opening your heart. That's not rebuilding trust. You're, not, you're never going to rebuild trust if you're too scared to fall. You're never going to rebuild trust if you're too scared to be hurt again. You're never going to rebuild trust if you constantly live in an area where you can't fall back. And if you can't fall back on this person, then this person lives in a constant situation where no matter what they do, you're always suspicious. You're always afraid. And they can't do anything to help you because your heart is closed to them. Your heart does not want to give again. And if your heart can't give trust, it can't give nothing. So stop being so scared and trying to get a reassurance. Stop jumping at it, right? You want to trust? Have faith. Have the courage to say, you know what? Like when you're with that new woman and or, you know, you, you and your woman had that second chance after she went out on that nightclub and fucked you over by getting down with another guy, right? Let me tell you something. As soon as y'all agree that y'all are going to rebuild trust again and you're the one who got fucked over. And again, you can reverse roles here. Guy got guy fucked a woman at the nightclub. Woman, you know what? You know what I mean, right? But the person who was betrayed of their trust. Once the people have decided they want to rebuild that person who said, I'm going to trust you again, has to realize he can't he can't call his friends every time his woman's out. Right? So his woman's out. Hey, can you can you keep an eye on my woman tonight? She's out. That's not trust. You're being scared. You turned back before she could catch you. You want to know what trust looks like? This is this is example A. Woman goes out, she's out, she's talking to her friends, she's gone, and she's out for the night. Hey yo. Hey yo, my man, look, my woman's out. I need you to go. Make sure she ain't on some fucking fool shit like last time when you caught her. I need you to be good. Or, you know, you call one of your friends, look, I need to make sure she ain't on some fool shit tonight. You can go out and keep her good. Or even worse, even worse, she goes, you get in your car, and then you know the exact destination. So you show up at a very nearby location, and then you start and then you scout out. Mmm, mmm. That's not trust. That is keeping 
you're you're like falling, but you're like stepping into that fall, right? You want to fall, but you're too scared, so you don't fall. Falling is sitting at home. She she goes out. She leaves in that car. You get a little paranoid and say, I really hope this doesn't happen again. You start to hurt a bit. You even get a bit of negative thought. You say, you know what? She won't, she won't do it tonight. She's going to be good to me. Grab a chair. Grab a little water bottle. Go ahead and pop out a quick computer. Pull up one of them Bo Mueller videos. Put your hand in your pants. Start rubbing your balls. I'm just kidding, but you just relax, right? And then the fall is complete, right? You're falling. You're in the process of falling for that entire time that she's gone. For the entire five hours or so. I don't know. The entire time that she's out, right? At that nightclub, at those streets, or those fucking things that she's at, whatever events, right? The entire time that she is out doing her thing, you are falling. The moment she comes home and you find out everything went right is when she catches you. And the more and more you open yourself to doing that, the less and less fear you're going to have. And the more and more that trust is going to be rebuilt, the stronger the foundation will be. And let me tell you something. Going through a process of rebuilding trust can build a stronger connection. Because if you can show that even when you fuck up, you guys will make up for it. As something as deep as that, that goes a long way. So be vulnerable. Trust will come with fear. You will be afraid to trust. You'll be, you will be afraid to fall. So fall again and put it in her hands that she's going to catch you and capitalize on your best interests, your needs, and your wants. That's how you got to do it. Trust in her. She'll trust in you. She'll capitalize on you. If you allow her to. Listen, the person who has to show you that they won't betray you again can only show you when you let them. And the only way for you to let them is to not let your fear overtake your ability to trust. To trust is to be... I need you to really understand the statement. Okay, get a pen and paper and write this down, put it on your phone, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Okay, you ready? To trust is to be vulnerable. And because we are vulnerable, to trust is an act of courage. Because in a state of vulnerability, we are at sacrifice to being hurt. Whether it be for the first time or the second time. The courage is being the courage is in allowing yourself to fall again even after being hurt. The trust is in falling. Even knowing, not even knowing, the trust is in falling. The trust is in being vulnerable. Without even really being sure whether your best interests are going to be capitalized on or not. That is real trust. Without even knowing. Without even having to go scout out that place. Without even having to go follow. Without even having to call your friend to check it out for you. Without having to do any of that. And just falling. And allowing yourself to come into that place. That is when trust is rebuilt. That is the action you must take. That's all I got for y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all next time.